to finish it. Josh Horton the junior from Hillsboro North Carolina leads it off in the ninth. One out hit hard but right at Leckel. Jonathan Casey. Boys he had a great time the last two years. What a thrill ride for him. Nice to be associated with the winning team. <laughs> yeah. Ackley who has a home run and another base hit tonight. Also walked. Takes a crossfire hits it right at Wong almost ate him up. But this kid's got a great glove and that's two out. Two hard hit balls but two outs. Kyle Shelton will come on as the pinch hitter the last chance for North Carolina. The 10th round draft choice of the San Francisco Giants trying to clinch back to back national championships. Pat Casey is pacing like a cat. Strike call. And a strike. Fedorov would be next. Three and two. Second year in a row, the Tar Heels of North Carolina see heartbreak at the College World Series. You can take great pride in making it here two years in a row, even greater pride at making it to the finals two years in a row. But it still leaves an empty place when you don't win at all. I've been on the empty side of the equation twice with the Cleveland Indians and been on top of the pile once with the Dodgers. And you're right, they'll never get over the losses. Let's go down to Aaron. She's with Darwin Barney. Mike, thanks so much. Your second straight dog pile, Barney. What's that moment like for you? I mean, words can't explain. You know, I mean, this team is so close. Uh, you know, everyone doubted us in the middle of the year, and we went through ups and downs, but, you know, we really, we really took in the word family. And I think that, you know, this is most special for those freshmen, and, you know, seeing the looks on their faces, it's, you know, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world right now. It is so difficult to repeat here in the College World Series final. What was the biggest reason why you guys did that? You know, we got heart, you know, and a lot of people thought that our team was weak, and, uh, you know, coming from the Northwest, it was, it was something that couldn't fathom. But, uh, you know... We just showed how deep we are and, and, and how good we play baseball. You know, we play well uh, over there, and I think that, uh, you know, hopefully the, the, the whole nation will see. A nice moment with you and Pat Casey embracing. What did he say to you then? 
You know, <laughs> he goes, you told me early in the year if we win this thing, you're going to come back next year. <laughs> and uh, I got to think about that one. I don't know. But, uh, you know, he's, he's been there for the past three years. And, uh, you know, I just want to say I love my mom and dad. Thank you. You guys have been there my whole life. I love you guys. Congratulations. Now let's send it over to Kyle. All right, Mitch Canham. Two national championships in a row. Just tell me your thoughts right now. I'm too tired to think right now. It was a grind. But these guys got a lot of heart, man. And uh, it's awesome. I, I told everyone we were going to come back. A lot of people didn't believe us. But, you know, I knew once we got in the door, we were going to do this all along. Take me back a couple weeks ago. You guys go down to UCLA, maybe knowing that you got to go down there and take two out of three to even get into the tournament. What changed? What's the biggest difference between now and then? Because we can fight with our backs against the wall. Over in Oregon, we get a little toughness on us. So... Just, just because we're in a, in, a, in a tough situation, maybe not making it to regionals and stuff, it ain't going to hold us back. We're going to find a way to get it done. You were the guy telling this team, we're not going to dogpile in regionals, we're not going to dogpile in super regionals, right. we're going to wait until we get to Omaha. What was this dogpile like? And this was phenomenal. You know, I remember, remember from last year, I was on the bottom again, and I was worried about Joe because he had to wait all over him. So we were just smiling, and I think I had a, a foot in my face or whatever. I don't know. It was awesome. <laughs> Mitch, congratulations. Thank Go back there. Appreciate it. Jorge Reyes, named most outstanding player, 18 years old, freshman. What does that mean to you when you hear those words? Uh, I just, I was, I started crying. It's, uh, I worked so hard all my life to, uh, just to be a champion, and I finally got it. And uh, being the most outstanding player, I really, it's not something I was on my mind. It was just, I'm a team player, and uh, our whole team deserves it. What was that dog pile like for you? I, watching it on TV last year, I watched it about seven times, and. Actually, being in it this year is just amazing. I know you have a couple people that made a long trip from Mexico. Anything you'd like to say to them? Uh, I love you, grandparents. I love my grandpa up in the sky. He's been helping me this whole time. My dad and my mom, I love them for coming out, and uh, everybody was watching. Congratulations. Let's send it back upstairs. All right, Aaron, thanks very much. Reyes, the fifth freshman to win the most outstanding player the first since Houston Street did it in 2002. Six members of this ball club on the all tournament team. Canham, Wong, Barney, Sanchi, Lisman, and Reyes. And as you just saw, Reyes, the most outstanding player. Boy, oh boy, what a series and what a final game. These guys were really fun to, to, to cover and you know, there, there's so much to say about doing the small things to put yourself in, in a position to win. These guys, uh, you know, they're not a team that you look at an individual on their team and, and say, wow, this guy has all the talent in the world. They've got a lot of very good players that do a lot of the small things. And collectively, you know, they got the synergy, and, and they're so much stronger collectively than individually. And, and, you know, this is a wonderful example of college athletics of working together. A lot of uh, credit goes to Coach Casey doing a tremendous job in coaching. And, you know, in the world, the pitching staff just was outstanding. Uh, it was just a great example of a team effort, and that team effort was led by the pitching. The starters ended up 5-0. and They all went deep into the game. This was the first outing tonight that they didn't go six-plus innings, and for a freshman to lead them and end up an MVP, it shows a lot to do with the character of the individuals they bring in here, the recruiting they've done, what they do once they get here. It's an absolutely amazing effort. Back down to Aaron Andrews. Aaron. Well, this is the moment Beaver Nation has been waiting for. The presentation of the championship trophy. Send it over to Larry Templeton, chairman of NCAA College One Division or Division One College Baseball. Larry. Coach Casey, on behalf of Division One Baseball Committee, it's with a great pleasure we present you the 2007 National Championship, and I think you'll know where to put it because you just received one last year. Congrats. Congratulations. Thank you very much. The, tournament. There's a reason this is the greatest tournament on the face of the earth, the greatest of event. It's because of what you guys do for us. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Thank well, Coach, let me ask you, holding this for the second straight time, how does it feel? Uh, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's all about those guys over there in the pinstripes, you know. Uh, the Beaver Nation up there getting after it pretty good. I like that. But what is it about those guys? Why were they able to bring you another title? Well, we just got great, we got great kids with great character. We got a great coaching staff. We've had great continuity in what we've done. Um, but man, I can't tell you anything other than it's about the guys across the white lines and getting the dirt for the Oregon State Beavers and uh, what a run it's been. Um, we struggled there for a while and uh, we had our people stay behind us and the 25 guys standing over here believed in everything we were doing and this is their trophy. This is their trophy right here. 
winning back-to-back -back titles hasn't been done in 10 years. What does this moment say about Oregon State baseball? Well, I hope it just says that, you know, that um, we're in here to stay, and um, it's just a great tribute to our program, to our kids. Uh, but I, I think coaches are getting way too much credit for this. You know, it's all about those guys playing the game, and uh, I'm just a blessed man to be able to work with them. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Let's send it to Kyle now. Thanks, EA, with Mike Fox. And, and Mike, just tell me your thoughts right now after this one. Well, I mean, you know, it's obviously very disappointing. Uh, my hat's off to Oregon State. What an accomplishment that is, you know, back to back. I, I, didn't, I don't think you'll ever, I didn't think you'd ever see that as good of teams there are, you know, in, in Division I. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our players, obviously, for the kind of year we had and um, 57 wins. I mean, uh, you know, it's disappointing, but, uh, you know, life goes on and uh, it just wasn't meant to be for us. What do you say to your guys after this one? Well, I'll tell them, you know, I, I tell them I love them and, you know, I'm going to miss all the seniors and the guys that are going to sign and, you know, we're going we're gonna to regroup and get back on the recruiting trail, and we're going to do our darnest to get back out of here again. My congratulations on another outstanding season. Thanks for joining us, too. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, Kyle, thanks very much to you and Aaron. This dream come true is presented by Disney Theme Parks. Guys, another tremendous experience here in Omaha. What do you think? I tell you, this is my first time being able to experience this from up in the booth, and I, I just had an absolute blast. A lot, learned a lot. Um, but I tell you, baseball is a beautiful game, especially when you do the little things. You always like to see the guys that you know aren't the best athletes become come successful because of their execution. And I think that's a this was a perfect illustration of that. Just a fantastic time for me. My first time here ever, never as a college player, first time as a broadcaster. Omaha does a great job, and congratulations to the Beavers. They lay it on the line. I just love to watch them play. The Oregon State Beavers now back-to-back -back College World Series champions. Next on ESPN2, the ProCare RX NHRA Super Nationals, along with Oral Hershiser, Barry Larkin, Aaron Andrews, Kyle Peterson, and our entire ESPN crew. This is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. We've had an exceptional time here. We leave you with some of the great moments of the 2007 College World Series. ESPN production is available on ESPN. Gentlemen, start your engine! This is Sports